Can Elon Musk, SpaceX, or Neuralink help chickens lay eggs? Sounds like a ridiculous question. I know. Bear with me. Let's dig in. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of Dark Temptation. So good, so good. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology agricultural day. <laughs> yeah, so I know it sounded weird. The title of this video just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's not like a video that I normally do on this channel, but it's almost like a PSA. I wanna give you some information and maybe reach out to Elon and say, listen, can you help us out? Because we're having a problem. Our chickens are having a problem. <laughs> can Neuralink help or maybe the brilliant scientists over there at SpaceX? Possibly. So let me give you a little context here, a short story of what happened so you understand what is going on. Now, during the great, I would say, time of despair, right around 2019 or so, when the virus was running rampant and people were running around like Chicken Little with their heads chopped off, pardon the pun. And uh, at that time, my child had to, my son, homeschool. And that was a great thing because he actually learned more at home than he did at school, but that's for another video. Anyways, he got bored. You know, you can only be in the house for so long. It was hard going anywhere, right? You're all masked up and all kinds of nonsense. So I said, you know what? How about if we do something, a project outside so we can get outdoors and do something? So we said, you know what? Let's make a chicken coop. That is when chicken eggs started doing this, right? Selling from a dollar to two dollars to three dollars to four dollars. Now, sometimes you go to the store to get, let's say, grass fed, I don't even know what the hell they call it now, organic eggs, which aren't really organic, but for like eight, nine, almost ten dollars for a dozen. We said, you know what, let's make our own, let's make a chicken coop. So that's what we did. We built a really nice chicken coop. So we said, you know what, we're gonna raise these chicken. And we did, we bought a whole bunch of baby chicks, we raised them and they started laying eggs, we fed them, they fed us, and it was a very nice symbiotic relationship, as it should be. Well, not only did we get chicken eggs, but we got additional chicks, baby chicks. Why? Because we had a badass rooster named Donald. Rest his soul. No, we did not eat him. <laughs> he just died on his own. Anyways, Donald gave us a lot of additional chicks. So we had baby chicks and we had the older chicks. Older, older being about four years old. So in the last nine months, guys, in the last nine months, we have not, maybe even up to a year, I don't know, we have not seen any eggs, right? We thought that they were just going through the seasonal thing. Well, the season went from like a month or two to three to six months. Now, like I said, we're into like nine months. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, well, maybe it's seasonal. It was like a weather change. We're in Florida. Nine months is not a season. Some people will say, listen, they're getting old. Maybe that's why they stopped laying. Well, like I said, not only do we have the four-year-old chicken, but we also have baby chicks. None of the chicks have been laying. Zero, doesn't matter the age. So like I said, for the last nine months, we've got no eggs. Well, a couple of days ago, like we always do, we'll go to Red Barn or possibly we'll go to Tractor Supply or one of these stores to be able to get feed for the chicken. We went, got our 50 pound bag, stood in line. And when we got up to the line, the woman was ringing us out and she said, you know, can I ask you a question? I'm like, okay, sure. That was like out of the blue. She's like, are your chickens laying eggs? And I was kind of put aback by it. I'm like, this woman is asking me if my chickens are laying eggs. It's just a weird thing. I didn't even think about it until then. And I'm like, ma'am, no, they're not. They haven't been laying eggs for many months. She's like, that's interesting. My chicken aren't laying eggs either. And everyone that I ask are saying the same thing. Their chickens are not laying eggs either. So I'm trying to figure it out. So that's why I'm here, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. The whole idea of Elon Musk possibly helping out with the brilliant minds over there at SpaceX or maybe even a Neuralink implant to get these chicken to lay eggs, 
is kind of in jest, but it's serious too. It would be interesting to see what he has to say about it. I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, could this be a problem with the food? Could it be a problem with the water? Could it be a problem with the air, just environmental stuff? What could be the problem? Remember, for the last four years, we've been getting eggs that are not like normal eggs. Now, if you guys have never eaten an actual egg from a farm, right, a fresh egg, you really don't know what you've been missing. My son, the very first year we got eggs, we got a store-bought batch of eggs and our eggs from our chicken. He cracked one of our eggs into a clear bowl and then into another clear bowl, cracked one of the organic, all this nonsense that they put on the box and cracked that into another one of these clear bowls. The one egg that came from the store looked like an egg. It was like yellow in color. The white was like a little big tinge of green. Not sure why that was, but that's the way it is. Whereas our egg, instead of being yellow, the yolk was literally blood orange. All of our eggs are really rich, all right? And they taste that way. It tastes like a damn egg, not like water. I digress. Anyways, like I said, for the last four years, we've been getting a ton of eggs and now it's just completely dried up. It doesn't matter if it's the older chicken or the newer chicken, the younger chicken, no one is laying eggs. And now after speaking to this woman at Tractor Supply, after she spoke to like everyone that has passed her in line, she probably sees a hundred people per day and no one is getting eggs. I went to the other day, Red Barn and asked the same question and I'm getting the exact same answer. Like this woman is getting, no, we're, you know, we're not getting eggs. I don't know. We thought that it's maybe the season or something. Is it the damn season? What is going on? I would like to know from you, so do me a favor, all right? I know this is a weird video, it's not the normal video, but this is what we do. We are a community, all right? And we help each other. So if you are someone that keeps chicken, all right? And they are laying eggs, what brand of food are you using? What food are you using, all right? And if you do also keep chicken, but your chicken are not laying eggs, what brand of food are you using? So once again, I'm trying to figure out what the problem is here to correct it. Is it water? Is it air? Is it environmental? Or does the problem run deeper? Is the problem in the food supply? I really don't know. And like I always do on this channel, I remain unbiased. I gather up as many facts as possible and then I give them to you. Of course, I'll give you my commentary, as I always do, my thoughts, my opinion, but most importantly, I wanna know yours. I wanna hear from you, because once again, you guys are this channel, not me, this talking head. So, can Elon help? I don't know. Maybe he can reach out and say, listen, I know what the problem is, here it is. This is how you fix it, that'd be awesome. Or maybe he could implant a Neuralink into these chicken and let them just lay out eggs like crazy every day, who knows? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. Click this little button over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And tonight, usually on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live. So join us. Hang out. It'll be fun. Anyways. If you're looking for a VPN, consider Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is jchristina, or you can use the URL jchristina.com forward slash VPN to get 15 additional percent off at checkout. Also, if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down here. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years. Maybe take a look at some of my merch or maybe some teas. Pick them up if you like, that'd be awesome. Support my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.